Hello everyone and uh, thank you for joining me. Welcome to this video. My name is Sean and I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to uh, do a three card tarot spread reading. Now the three card spread is ideal for new and uh, experienced readers alike. However, if you are uh, new to tarot reading, I would uh, advise uh, practicing with the uh, three card format because some of the other spreads uh, can be uh, fairly complex, such as the uh, Celtic Cross, which uh, has 10 cards. Here I will uh, provide you with a, a demonstration of uh, how to uh, read a uh, three card spread, how to uh, interpret the cards, uh, their symbolisms, and uh, how you can uh, go forth um, with the um, story that uh, has been presented to you. For demonstration purposes, I will use the uh, past, present, and future format for this um, reading. Now to uh, start off, uh, you'll want to um, work in an area that uh, is fairly secluded. Um, you'll need a um, small uh, workspace, um, like a small table. Um, I've uh, selected these uh, crystals right here to uh, surround my uh, three cards for uh, added uh, spiritual protection. Um, I've also infused uh, my space with the Reiki energy. Um, you can also use uh, incense. Um, you can also uh, recite a prayer. Um, it's up to you, whatever you uh, feel uh, is necessary to um, enhance the uh, reading. Now, secondly, you'll want to uh, choose a good deck that you're familiar with. I've uh, selected my uh, good old Rider Waite deck uh, right here, as you can see. Now, what you'll need to do is uh, shuffle the cards. I'll just uh, go like this. There we go. And um, I'll um, check to make sure all these uh, cards are upright because later I'll uh, take some of these cards and uh, reverse them so we can have uh, reverse possible uh, reversed cards in the reading. So flip these all around. This uh, just takes a uh, minute or so. It, uh, it really uh, depends whether or not if you actually want to have uh, reversed uh, cards in a reading. However, um, I feel they're uh, always necessary, so I just uh, go with uh, whatever my uh, intuition uh, tells me. Okay, almost done. And there we are. So, it's always important to um, bless the uh, deck too. Clear the deck. There we go. And, um, yep, just call upon your higher guides uh, for a protection. So we'll just say, no, first of all, you need to uh, formulate a question. Uh, for the purposes of this uh, video, we'll ask, uh, will uh, this new job work out for me? Yes. Will this new job work out for me? So we'll uh, put that out to the universe and um, let the universe uh, play the role 
in uh, the story of what uh, the tarot cards say. So at that, this point we'll shuffle the cards. Oh. So we there. And what I'll do, I'll cut the cards into three, and I'll uh, reverse one of them, and uh, stack them up again. Just one more time. There. Now, um, what I'll do, uh, there are many ways in which you can uh, select the cards. However, I'll go like this. And uh, when you're turning over the cards, it's important to, to do it sideways and not to uh, flip them up because um, the uh, answers uh, will change. The uh, outcome of the reading will change, so. So, for the past, we'll do a, a past, present, future reading. For the past, we got Temperance. And for the present, we've got uh, the Eight of Wands. And uh, for the future, we got the uh, Six of Swords reversed. Okay. So just to take a moment to um, look at the cards, uh, gather their meanings, and um, formulate a, a hypothesis or um, a conclusion as to how um, the uh, outcome will play. Okay, so, um, in this uh, scenario here, um, we see um, the uh, Querent, uh, he, uh, is see he was seeking a balance in uh, his um, new career growth, his uh, opportunities, and uh, perhaps uh, he uh, had a job that uh, was too unstable, uh, wasn't very uh, emotionally fulfilling, um, could have been uh, too chaotic, and uh, he was just uh, looking for a means to um, seek a balance and uh, harmony into his uh, working life. And uh, in the present, um, there um, is uh, opportunities for uh, open communication to uh, travel, um, to um, talk to um, people in uh, foreign states, uh, other uh, countries or um, other provinces. Um, yes, through email or um, telephone or through a video chat. So um, I think um, he's uh, looking to uh, expand uh, his horizons from uh, beyond. Um, where he lives uh, currently. However, um, in the uh, future outcome, we uh, notice uh, here is the uh, Six of Swords reversed. Um, he uh, may, uh, if he decides to um, stick with this uh, new job that he has, um, it, he may not uh, seek uh, the actual fulfillment that uh, he was looking for. He uh, may not be able to move on from uh, what uh, was uh, plaguing him in the past. Um, he, there uh, may uh, be a feeling of stagnation, of um, 
uh, a lack of opportunity to um, sail forth, so to speak. He uh, so as you notice here in the, the uh, six of uh, swords, you will notice uh, that um, this uh, man is uh, paddling this boat with um, two passengers, and there are six swords uh, in the boat. However, since the card is reversed. Um, he, there uh, will be uh, more difficulty in uh, getting to the uh, desired uh, uh, path, the uh, desired uh, location of um, where they want to go. So um, the question being asked is, um, uh, will uh, this new job uh, work out? So um, e even though um, he is a seeking balance and uh, the uh, opportunity to uh, communicate with uh, other uh, people in uh, foreign lands. Um, there still may be uh, a, a feeling of uh, stagnation. So, um, yes, that's uh, one uh, possible way to uh, interpret uh, the outcome of this reading. Um, you've got um, one card from the Major Arcana. Um, he was uh, dealing with uh, forces uh, outside of his control in the past. Um, in the present and uh, future, got two minor Arcana cards. So, um, yeah, everyday uh, influences uh, in the present are affecting him and uh, they will affect him in the future. So, um, overall, it looks as if, um, if he does, uh, does stay with his job, uh, he may not gain uh, much fulfillment. Although, um, he uh, is uh, looking to uh, communicate with uh, other people and uh, seek balance, but uh, yeah. It's just uh, one way how I uh, interpret this. The past, present, and future uh, format is just one of many that you can apply using the uh, three card spread. I'll uh, provide you with a uh, list here of uh, the other kinds of uh, formats that you can use with the three cards. concludes this video. I do thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful day.